time to talk about superhero with the electrifying personality. Comic Universe. I'm Brian and I'm back for another That's What You Missed On. This time Black Lightning. Like with my Supergirl, I'm gonna mostly focus on last season and also, in case it's not obvious, spoiler alert. I will be talking about Black Lightning to date, which is season one and season two. Um Less so in season one, but anyway, let's just jump into it. Season one was about Jeff coming out of retirement and getting back into being a superhero, but trying to learn how to be one for the right reasons. It was really cool. We got to see the birth of Thunder, which, oh... can't say anything without going on advertiser friendly except for I will say that she was bad a and kicked all kinds of butt too an awesome hero um we also got the hints of thunder with but for season one Jennifer and being thunder was kind of more horror movie-esque of just her discovering her powers like at the tail end tail tail end um oh yeah that's right cause she went with the dude so yeah she had her powers by the end uh well she really wasn't a hero uh we got introduced to Lynn, who's awesome ex-wife. I wasn't really expecting them to bring the family back together, but that was cool. Did not like that she did the whole addicted to the superpowers thing, but she very quickly dropped that when they realized fans weren't liking that at all. Then you got, uh, Grandpa. <laughs> Uncle Gamby, the tailor, who is also Black Lightning's Alfred-esque character. And he was really cool as, like, combination of mentor and man in a van. Which, that was a unique combination that we don't really get to see too much. I mean, somewhat Alfred, but let's be honest, Batman is his own man in a van. Anywho, we also got Tobias Whale, who's an awesome villain. He's kind of like the CW answer to Kingpin. Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, I might add. And he was really cool in season one. The ending was a little bit anticlimactic, but... The penultimate was freaking awesome. Uh, then, let's jump into season two. Season two was, there really isn't like, with most of the CW shows where you can be like, this is the theme of season one. This is the theme of season two. This is the theme of season three. Black Lightning, that's not really the case because it's all one continuous story. And so, season two picked up with Jeff learning to be like who he is without being a principal because the finale of season one, which I don't know why I said it was anticlimactic earlier, I'm now remembering. It's been a while since I've seen it. But it was awesome, and it kind of wrecked the school. So, and Jeff wasn't there. 
so there's ramifications for that in season two, and Jeff has to learn who he is outside of being a principal. And we get more him getting closer with Lynn. That's really awesome. Um, we got in, we got uh, reintroduced to Grace Choi, who had like a cameo in season one. And it was really cool to see her and Nissa's relationship blossom. And then to see uh, Grace just like yeet herself out of the show. And for Nissa to be like, no, you're not leaving. And go after her and find out what happened to her. Also, it was cool to see what happened with Jen and Khalid. And how they're both now in control of their powers. And Jen at the end gets her suit, which was awesome. And we got her almost killing Tobias before the police actually came in and arrested him. Which, that makes me remember, I completely forgot to talk about Henderson. Henderson is an awesome character, Jim Gordon-esque. Like... Nice guy, man of the people type cop, dude. Just nice. Uh, some other big points that happened in season two is, uh, oh yeah, we had the whole... Tobias getting the Masters of Disaster, which... That was kind of a little anticlimactic, actually, and not, I don't mean that, like, remembering wrong, because we got to see two of them who had this drag out fight with Black Lightning and Thunder. Now that season finale was a little lackluster, but it was still awesome, and, um... What wasn't awesome, though, was parts of season two dragged out, like... The thing with the energy vampire people thing and the class versus class thing was a really cool story, but didn't really make sense within the season and kind of dragged the whole season and didn't really go anywhere and have any effect on the season as a whole. And also, they really did not know how to do a mid-season finale this time because their mid-season premiere was basically their mid-season finale. Like, literally story for story. But overall, I really did like it. Uh, you also had Gamby going undercover because people are trying to kill him, which will be interesting to see how we go from there. And the big thing is, I am forgetting his name now, but the government dude who were like, is he evil? Is he not evil? comes in in the finale and says, yeah, no, I'm not evil. I work a little outside the law, but I'm not evil. And also, I need you and your daughters, because I know you're all who you, I know you're all the heroes, Black Lightning, Thunder, and whatever you're calling yourself, mess. And, uh, because the Markovians are coming, and we're going to get the story with the Markovians and probably get Geoforce and Terra. Maybe even Atlee. Because I freaking love her and she doesn't get that much credit. But anyway. Uh, trying to think of other big things that happened. Oh yeah, RJ Siler came in for a while to be what I thought was going to be Tobias' his evil man in a van. But then he got killed. And the reason why I say killed is because the way they did it made it seem like he isn't really dead. But they've never really addressed it since. So I don't know. And... Sorry. Camera. Issues. What I was saying is RJ Siler. You didn't really know. I don't know if they're going to bring him back or not. I'd love it. Because he's awesome. 
Oh yeah, and we also got introduced to Wendy, who has wind powers and was OP. And we got introduced to, uh, don't remember his name, but a dude who can make you, like, say your innermost thoughts and, like, speak truths. And it, we thought that those two and Khalid had either died or disappeared. And then in the finale, ba ba ba, the maybe evil government dude has them all three in a chamber. And you're like, what the hell? Khalid died. What? So that'll be interesting to see how they go from there and see what they do. This was a little different for that's what you missed on because it's all one continuous story. It's not like sectioned in seasons, which is kind of a little weird, but cool. Also, season two, we got to see more of Jeff's powers, which was nice. Like, get to see him fly and have basically x ray vision. It's also kind of weird because they split it up into books, which. Those titles are so long, too long for YouTube. I don't know why they do that, but anyway, can't wait to see where we go from here. Black Lightning's awesome. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you again in the universe. I would say my normal catchphrase, but this series we got a different outro. And that's what you missed on Black Lightning.